Good evening, I'm Alexa Helwig. Thanks so much for joining us on LEX 18 News at 11. Kylan Mills has the night off. A woman in the Buckhorn neighborhood of Lexington says her car and home have been broken into now more than a dozen times. After a necklace made from her father's ashes was taken from her car yesterday, she says she's had enough. Eleanor Buckley has that story in tonight's LEX 18 Big Story at 11. Don't know if it's just my yard that's cursed or what's going on. Cheyenne Brown says she no longer feels safe in her own home and refuses to stay here alone. I'm going to move. I'm done with it. First, she says squatters carved a hole into her attic. They climbed right there and then they got up into the top of that hole right there. That's when I called the police because I was like, wait, right. this, something's happened. But she says that wasn't the end of her problems. Someone popped the lock to her front door and stole money. She's also had over a dozen car break ins and this Saturday morning it got worse when she noticed something missing from her car. My change purse was gone and then I, I noticed that my dad's ashes were in that change purse. When Cheyenne's father passed away less than a year ago, she and her sister got his ashes infused into identical necklaces. Though she's already notified authorities, she says she's sending a plea to whoever may have grabbed it from her car. I don't care that you stole my money. That is the last thing that I care about. What I care about is my dad and I want you to bring him back. There's no questions asked. I mean, I will give you whatever you need. I just want my dad. That's that's it. Just bring him home. This time her car door was left unlocked, which police tell her there isn't much they can do besides for her to check pawn shops. I don't like the fact that I'm working my butt off and I'm pretty much just throwing my money away when this happens. Covering the news in Lexington, Eleanor Buckley, LEX 18 News. Now she hopes whoever took the necklace will bring it back and if anyone does spot it, we'll have more information on our website, lex18.com.